So you might be in a situation where for some reason your iPhone is giving you this type of pop-up that says this device is already associated with an Apple account. Now, this type of pop-up can happen for a couple of different reasons. The very first thing that basically is mentioned is basically if you're going to go through and use some sort of Apple ID within your account, sometimes there can be like a waiting period from when that account is you know, kind of eligible to be used inside of that particular Apple account. So what you can do is you can go ahead and make your way over into your settings application right here. You want to tap onto your name that's at the very top. So just go into your name right here. And then you want to click on media and purchases. And then you want to go and click on view account. And it's going to allow you to type in your password and you will see more information about your particular account. So what you want to do is you want to look under the manage devices portion and you want to see you know, if there's any information about what is going on within your particular account. So that is one way to do it. Another option that you basically have here, if none of those things are working, is you can also sign out of your Apple ID and sign back in. So this is going to remove anything associated with your Apple ID, but when you log in, you should be able to receive all that information back. So go inside of your iPhone settings like this, you know, tap into your name at the very top, scroll down and then click on this sign out button. So click on sign out. It's going to ask you to type in your passcode once again. So type in your password. And then when you're done with this, what's going to happen is it's going to allow you to basically sign back in with your, you know, with that same Apple ID if you want to. So you can go right back into here. You can sign in with that Apple ID and that will allow you to go through and basically use this account within that Apple ID. So that's, you know, one way to do it. If that's still not working, you can also contact Apple support and let them know what's going on. And that's another option that you basically have to fix this problem as well. So those are kind of the main ways to go into it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.